Hello and welcome to the Backyard Art School. So today I'm going to go through our spring school holiday workshops that we have now got posted on our website. This will be the face-to-face -face classes that we'll be having over a two-week period um, and the first workshop that we will be having will be on Monday the 26th of September uh, and each of the workshops uh, we have catered for both younger age groups so six to eight years old and then we also have our older age group which is uh, workshops which is suitable for the older age groups which is 9 to 12 years old uh, and I'm going to talk through each of the workshops that we're offering uh, so you can get an idea of what your children will learn and also some of the techniques and the reasons um, why we do uh, create the different age groups for those particular workshops um, and so yes I'm just going to go read through it so thank you for watching and um, and please do subscribe as well I've got a lot of um, um, new things that are going to be occurring online including um, a free online course which will be happening I'm just building it at the moment uh, in the lead up to the threatened species um, National Threatened Species Day which is on the 21st uh, sorry on the 7th of September um, so do subscribe I will be keeping you posted with those developments and when that course is on offer But I'm just going to read through now and we're going to go through the spring school holiday workshops from 2022 uh, and we start off with the first day being on Monday the 26th of September and this will be the rainbow lorikeet workshop and this is going to be for the younger students six to eight years old it's a great mixed media workshop where um, the younger students will go through the process of using watercolors um, and then oil pastels for details of the uh, rainbow lorikeet's feathers um, and then they'll also be using acrylic paints so there'll be like a whole spectrum of different mediums that they're able to use and they'll also be going through the process of cutting out and collaging so there's a lot of different um, activities throughout the day to create this artwork which will be framed uh, when it is taken home and for the younger students they really love that um, change of different techniques and um, different mediums uh, they really love to have that variety it keeps them interested um, and it is also a really lovely fun spring subject um, of the rainbow lorikeet which frequents my apartment um, often and I'm actually painting a rainbow lorikeet of my own work which I'll show in a later video of my personal studio that I have in the apartment and uh, some of the works that I'm doing so you'll be able to see that rainbow lorikeet. The rainbow lorikeet workshop that we're offering to our face-to-face -face classes or um, at the studio is also going to be offered um, on our online membership platform so that will be available for the online spring school holiday workshops as well so if you want to look into that I'll leave the links at the bottom uh, moving on we also have Tuesday the 27th of September and this is going to be for the older group uh, the reason is the techniques are a little bit more challenging with the application it is going to be a bower bird as the theme but we're going to be using a mixture of pastels and inks to develop this um, layered um, method where you create a layer of oil pastels over the drawing you then put a layer of ink over the pastel drawing 
and then you use um, tools to carve into the ink layer which creates kind of like a lino print effect. It's quite graphic, really interesting, uh, but we do have this for the older students just because there is quite a lot of patience involved with the application of um, the inks onto the pastel level. Sim similar to a scratchy artwork that you might get at Woolworths or whatever, but this is from design concept to drawing at the very beginning, the, um, the bowerbird. And then also um, then having the layer of ink going on top, then be able to carve in and create a really lovely graphic shapes, um, such as the textures of the grass that the bowerbird will be building the nest in, and also obviously the blue um, collection of plastic uh, go goodies that he'll adorn the nest um, and then also the bowerbird himself and um, it'll be a choice of the students if they want to include a uh, female bowerbird or not so I leave that up to the design of the students um, at the very beginning when we do the drawing of the bowerbird but this is a full day workshop from nine to three o'clock um, and there's a lot of um, techniques and this artwork will also be framed before the students will take it home uh, following on we have our wednesday the 20th of september and this is going to be a favorite cat workshop which is predominantly if you have if students have cats that may be living in the streets that they love to look at or if they've got their own pet cat or they have a style of cat that they really love in, um, to draw uh, they'll be learning how to draw different um, shaped cats at the beginning of the lesson and then from that they'll be creating a mixed media background using uh, wax crayons as well as watercolors uh, which would be a nice graphic sort of uh, background that will suit the coloring of their chosen cat and then they will go through the process of drawing and um, painting their cats which will then be collaged onto the background so it's a full day workshop for the younger students six to eight years old a lot of different techniques including collage um, and watercolors and acrylics and also ink pens and uh, so it makes it for a really interesting day a fun workshop especially when it's with a the theme of the favorite cat um, and it's been uh, we've had we've done this workshop before and it's been a really amazing um, artworks that have been created from that and the artwork will also be framed before going home uh, Thursday the 29th of September we're doing a lovely watermelon painting so uh, when we were uh, painting the uh, during last ter last winter school holiday workshops we did lemons and um, all the students I said hey what would you like to do for the spring school holidays and I had a vote for watermelon painting so we're going to do a similar process that we had used previously which is off the edge where students older students meaning 9 to 12 years old will we start off with drawing um, a still life of watermelon from life and then they will uh, use a viewfinder to frame their drawing to create an interesting composition of their watermelon uh, still life and then they'll go through the process and I'll be showing them step by step of how to paint their watermelon onto a canvas with acrylic paints. So there's many layers, lots of um, techniques that they'll be learning uh, with how to paint and draw any still life. Um, and so it's a really enjoyable workshop for the older students, um, which is a beautiful, bright spring themed watermelon uh, painting, which will be great. Moving on, uh, we then go on to Friday. So Friday will be for the younger students and this is a new workshop and it's really lovely. A lot of brush techniques uh, and we're actually going to be, instead of painting on a canvas or uh, um, on, a, on a piece of paper, students are going to be pa painting onto a papier-mâché bowl. So um, we will be sourcing the papier-mâché bowl which will be part of the base that they'll be painting on spring flowers uh, and the spring flowers that they're going to be showing the techniques of how to double load 
uh, their paintbrushes. This is a similar technique that I have shown already on our YouTube videos of how to do poppies uh, where they use uh, two colors to load onto the brush and then to do the strokes for their spring flower petals. Um, so really lovely fun techniques to learn for the younger students and um, we are also going to be uh, using primary doing a color theory lesson as well where they'll be using the primary colors uh, to paint the interior of their bowl. They'll then finish off the out exterior of the bowl, uh, papier mache bowl, with a gold paint that they'll then put paint on their spring flowers. We'll also include cute little butterflies and bees um, and it'll just be a really fun workshop for our younger students um, and they'll thoroughly enjoy it. So moving on, we've also got a Labor Day a public holiday on that weekend. So the following uh, class will be on Tuesday the 4th of October. And um, that will be of a magnolia. So magnolias we have actually just growing in the front yard of our studio. And students will be paint drawing from life the magnolia. And then again we'll be creating a beautiful composition uh, from their drawings. They will then paint the magnolia uh, composition onto canvas and the colors are just gorgeous they'll have like a blue sky blue background but they can choose their own color um, and then they'll have that lovely pink uh, color of the magnolias but the blue and the pink just really hit it off uh, with the final composition and the and the painting and uh, and this workshop has been done a couple of times before and it does book up quite quickly it is for the older students uh, not for the younger students so from nine years to 12 years, um, they'll really enjoy uh, the, the challenges of developing their workshop throughout the day. Again, it'll be from nine till three. Then we're moving on to Wednesday. So Wednesday, we've got a really fun um, spring bird painting uh, for the young students. And it is a nave style uh, painting, meaning it's a stylized, simple, um, design of spring birds but once the students uh, know how to draw each of the spring birds the way that they would like to decorate their birds um, if it's more decorative uh, it will be totally up to them so they'll have cotton buds they'll be able to do um, different paint techniques as well to get their different patterns and designs on each of the birds uh, that will then be collaged into a beautiful canvas which has been painted in the background of a tree. Um, so they're going to have a really lovely uh, progression of collage, painting, acrylic painting, learning how to create patterns, and then also um, finishing off with this beautiful spring-themed workshop. Uh, and that'll be really fun for the second week. Uh, then for the last two days, as always, uh, we always finish off our, our holiday our workshops with clay uh, just because it is a little bit more of a messy medium to work with and, um, and I usually like to finish it off because then I give a really thorough clean before I start my term four classes. Uh, but with that, what we're going to be doing is on Thursday the 6th, this will be for the older students, they will be sculpting a humpback whale. So this will be quite an interesting sculpture to create uh, where they'll be developing a drawing of their humpback whale. They'll also create an armature for inside the whale to give it support um, whilst they're building the clay on. And they'll also be learning about how to create all of the lovely details such as the ridges underneath the whale's neck all the little barnacles that may be around the whale's lips and also the body, the eyes, um, all those details. And at the very end, they will also be painting their whale sculpture. It is quite involved and it will be quite challenging uh, because there are limitations with the clay as far as if you have any elements that is coming out from a main body, such as the curve of a whale shape, uh, they really need to manage the weight of the tail so that it doesn't fat fall down and then of the head but there will be plenty of support with the armature inside so those techniques will really um, be great in showing uh, the older students how to problem solve um, with a slightly more challenging shape and form uh, for the sculpture for the spring school holidays and then finally we will have a beautiful this has been upon request from our younger students so uh, last, 
uh, winter school holiday workshops, again I asked what would be your favourite animal to sculpt in clay and everyone had said the giant panda. So that is why I am going to be facilitating this art class. I have done this before um, with the students and, uh, and it is quite a little bit more advanced than what we normally do with the younger students. We do sculptures which are more um, lower, smaller, uh, more simple shapes. Um, and this will be one where obviously with the panda bear it will be standing up. You'll be having to sculpt, the students will, have to sp will be sculpting a head the legs of the panda, um, they'll also be putting an armature inside of the panda for support um, and then they will also be work, like I'll be showing them how to sculpt the, the cute face of the panda um, and the details of its body features as well as um, painting it at the end before they take it home. Um, so it will be slightly more advanced but because I had so many students that were requesting it and what I've ever seen with the students that do attend my classes, um, I think that they'll be able to do it and I think it'll be a really fun, challenging workshop but something that they'll really enjoy creating uh, because of course it'll be their favourite animal and they'll really put that effort in um, into creating something which is quite uh, gorgeous to take home. Anyway, so that's the end of it. We have our spring school holiday workshops. Um, they're already on our website. I'll leave a link downstairs, oh, sorry, downstairs, on the comments area um, for our website which shows those, um, the, how to book into those um, workshops. We only have um, a small amount of students that come to our studio as we have a, only a small studio. Um, but uh, it will be a fun spring school holidays. I'm already seeing in the streets when I'm walking around little buds uh, blossoming on the trees. So it is always lovely when we do any of the school holiday workshops. We always work around the theme of seasons. Um, and so this spring school holiday workshops, it's all about color, bright spring themes, birds, um, flowers and uh, and I think that all the students will really enjoy this so I look forward to seeing you next week uh, and please subscribe to our um, YouTube channel I am going to be uh, I'm working on an online class which will be offered for free so you can have a, a look at it um, but please subscribe so you'll be notified I'm, I'm still building it at the moment and it will be on the theme of threatened animals uh, species in the lead up to um, the 7th of September, which is National Threatened Species Day. Um, and there may be a few competition, art competitions that are happening, which I'll also be sending links to. Not with us, the, um, the art competition, it will be um, different competitions which will have a focus on threatened species that are is in Australia, that, that is being presented in New South Wales. So thank you so much for joining us. Look forward to seeing you next week and, um, and I'll see you then. Okay, bye.